guys and welcome to this week's edition of Sarah's Saturday Sweets. I am making today an extremely easy peanut butter pie. Now I was in turmoil against myself about whether to make the easy peanut butter pie or the peanut butter pie where you have to actually like do things on the stove and whipped cream and I went for the easy way because I have to make another pie today and a batch of chili for my dad's surprise party. It's his 20th anniversary of being pastor of our church. We're having a surprise party. Anyways, this is one of the pies that is going there. So this is what you need. Eight ounces of cream cheese. I'm using Neuchâtel cheese. One cup of powdered sugar. And then the recipe calls for one cup of peanut butter, but I wanted more peanut butter taste, so I'm using the whole jar, which is about one and a half cups. Then you're gonna need a tub of Cool Whip, whipped topping, whatever. And then for the topping, you're gonna want some Reese's peanut butter cups, just chopped up. I think this was like six, seven, eight, nine of those little peanut butter cups that come in the pack. I just chopped them up. Now, the recipe calls to make an Oreo crust. But I bought the Oreos and then realized I only had one pie plate and I have to use that pie plate. So luckily I had a pre-made ah, pie crust and it's this. It's a shortbread crust. It'll be fine. So I'm being really lazy in this pie today. But it's going to be delicious and it's something you can just whip up really quick if you need to take a dessert somewhere or you just really want some peanut butter pie. So let's get started first things first take this delicious peanut butter oh my gosh it smells so good and get that in the bowl this is definitely a dessert Matthew will not be eating right darling sick <laughs> Matthew hates peanuts hates hates all right the recipe also said not to use natural peanut butter to use unnatural peanut butter <laughs> I don't know. Isn't that the opposite of natural? Okay, you're going to want to make sure your whip topping has been thawed. And just get that in there. Oh, man. I know it would have been... I would have been such a better, uh, better like, cooker if I had done the harder one. But I just really didn't feel like it. I'm just being real honest. And I thought, I want to share this recipe with the world. All right. So once you get that in there, make sure you scrape off all that deliciousness. Oh my gosh. You want to get that. And then you just want to use your mixer and whip this up just a little bit till it's all combined. Oh my gosh. We'll be back. All right, and once that's, you know, kind of combined, you know, you, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to add this whip oh gosh this cream cheese that has been softened oh, and you're gonna add that in there I'm always like scraping things off because oh, are you all right there yep. man? <laughs> because it's just I don't know you should just get everything and then again just whip this together all right okay <laughs> once you have that mixed up you just add the powdered sugar Oh yeah. And then, you guessed it, mix it up some more. Okay, once that's all whipped up, it is pretty thick. And what you do next is, for sake all things, grab a spoon and eat the whole thing yourself. But don't really do that. Don't listen to me. All right. I'm going to take a couple, a little bit of my um, peanut butter cups. I'm just going to put some on the bottom here. I haven't done this before, but hey, new day, new things. Let's give it a try. I mean, it'll be a nice little surprise. Be like, ooh, peanut butter cup. So yeah, we'll just do that. That looks great. And then you just take the topping, the filling, whatever this is called, and put it in the pie plate. Oh yeah, this smells so good. Oh, some of my peanut butter cups came up, but that's all right. And yeah, it's very, very peanut buttery. So if you are a peanut butter lover, this is it. And this recipe is kind of like when I was growing up, my mom made poor man cheesecake, which is just cool whipped cheesecake and powdered sugar mixed together. And then she would top it with like uh, blueberries or cherries or something. So this is like 
peanut butter poor man cheesecake. Anyways. All right. So you just get that. Whoops, sorry. I, I interfered with your cinematography here. Sorry, Matt. Okay. And then you just spread it around here evenly. Try to get it as smooth as you can. Oh, it touched me, the peanut butter. Oh. Is it you? Uh, he's got to take a shower now. <laughs> Disinfect. I'm clean, I'm clean. Peanut butter is the one thing that I can have in the house that he will not eat. So if I want a treat all for myself, <laughs> I get peanut butter something. Works every time. Okay. All right. And once you have that even, just top it off with your peanut butter cups. Use as many or as little as you want. And you know, you could also, um, instead of peanut butter cups, you could just use um, syrup, chocolate syrup, or you could use peanut butter cups and chocolate syrup. You could use Reese Pieces. You could use um, Oreo crumbs. Really, you'd use whatever you want because you're an adult. Do what you want, unless you're not an adult. Then ask your parents. All right, so that's it. Very easy, that took me like minutes. And it is so delicious. If you are not lazy like I am, make your own Oreo crust. It's really delicious with that, the chocolate peanut butter combo. Mm. Anyways, you just wanna cover this up, let it sit for about three to four hours until you serve it, and then mwah, delicious. Thanks for watching guys, have a great week. Make this pie.